Nazan and Zagari Ratcliffe, Wikipedia article audio. Nazan and Zagari Ratcliffe is a British Iranian dual citizen who has been detained in Iran since April 3, 2016. On September 10, 2016, it was revealed that she was sentenced to five years' imprisonment for allegedly plotting to topple the Iranian regime. Arrest and Trial Petition United Nations The Prosecutor General of Tehran had stated in October 2017 that she was being held for running a BBC Persian online journalism course which was aimed at recruiting and training people to spread propaganda against Iran. Zagari Ratcliffe a project manager with the Thomson Reuters Foundation, the Canadian news agency Thomson Reuters Charitable Arm, travelled to Iran on March 17, 2016 to visit her family for Nowruz with her 22-month-old daughter Gabriella. On April 3, 2016, Members of Iran's Revolutionary Guard arrested her at the Imam Khomeini airport as she and daughter were about to board a flight back to the UK. Her daughter's British passport was confiscated during the arrest, but later returned, and the three-year-old remains in Iran under the care of her maternal grandparents so she can visit her mother. The exact reason for her arrest was initially unclear though according to Amnesty International it is believed related to the 2014 imprisonment of several Iranian technology news website employees. Zagari Ratcliffe used to work for the international charity the BBC World Service Trust, which provided training courses to Iranian journalists, some of whom were convicted for participating in the foreign training course in 2014. Nazanin worked for the BBC World Service Trust between February 2009 and October 2010, in a junior capacity as a training assistant according the CEO of the Thomson Reuters Foundation, before moving to Thomson Reuters Foundation. BBC Media Action described her role as junior and purely administrative. According to Yadala Muvahed, the head of the Justice Department in the Iranian city of Kerman, and as reported by the Iranian news network Press TV, Nazanin was arrested over her involvement in post-election riots that engulfed Tehran and some other cities in 2009. Muvahed said Zagari was among the suspects who conducted activities against the security of the country by designing websites and carrying out campaigns in the media during 2009. According to Muvahed, Nazanin was not arrested for activity inside Iran or for activity during her 2016 holiday to Iran. Some members of the group were outside Iran, including the suspect Nazanin Zagari. According to Press TV in June 2016 the CGRI headquarters in Kerman province announced that Nazanin Zagari had been identified after a large intelligence operation. She was one of the liaison officers of networks hostile to Iran abroad. According to this source, she was responsible for several missions and conducted her criminal activities under the direction of media and intelligence services of foreign governments. On September 10, 2016, she was sentenced to five years in prison for allegedly plotting to topple the Iranian regime. The Prosecutor General of Tehran had stated in October 2017 that she was imprisoned for running a BBC Persian online journalism course which was aimed at recruiting and training people to spread propaganda against Iran. On November 1, 2017, British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said when we look at what Nezanin Zagari Ratcliffe was doing, she was simply teaching people journalism, as I understand it, at the very limit.
These remarks appear to have put her at risk and have been denounced by politicians across the spectrum including Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn and London Mayor Sadiq Khan, leading to calls for Boris Johnson to be sacked. A central part of Zagary Ratcliffe's defence was that she was there on a holiday and never worked to train journalists in the country. Her employer, Thomson Reuters Foundation, called on Johnson to immediately correct the serious mistake he made in this statement. Four days later, Zagary Ratcliffe was returned to court in Iran where the Foreign Secretary's statement was cited as evidence against her. Zagary Ratcliffe was thought likely to appear in court again on December 10, 2017 to face additional charges relating to her work for the BBC World Service Trust, but this did not happen. British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson visited Tehran on December 9, 2017, raising the case of Zagary Ratcliffe. On May 7, 2016, Zagary Ratcliffe's husband Richard Ratcliffe launched an online petition urging both the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and Iran's Supreme Leader to take appropriate action to secure the safe return of his wife and daughter Gabriella. Ratcliffe's petition has been signed by over 1.5 million supporters in over 155 countries. The United Nations has on several occasions called for the release of Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe. On October 7, 2016, the United Nations Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in Iran, Mr. Ahmed Shahid called on Iran to immediately release Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe. The call was repeated by Mr. Shahid's successor a year later. On October 21, 2017, Ms. Asma Jahangir, Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in Iran, and Mr. Jose Antonio Guevara Bermudez, Chair Rapporteur of the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, called on Iran to release Zagari Ratcliffe and said, we consider that Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe has been arbitrarily deprived of her liberty and that her right to a fair trial before an independent and impartial tribunal has been violated. These are flagrant violations of Iran's obligations under international law. The Working Group on Arbitrary Detention had also formally called for her immediate release in its opinion 28-2016 adopted in August 2016.